I tell you something, folks. Let me tell you. When it comes to dining large, my next guest has gone all in. You remember him from the hit series Man Vs. Food. Well, now he's got a brand new cookbook called Straight Up Tasty. Please welcome Adam Richmond. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hey, man, it looks like you've lost a lot of weight, man. I, I have taken... True? I'm a smaller mammal. I'm a much smaller mammal. Uh, yeah, working hard on it. I, I, you know, gone back and forth a little bit, but yeah, for the most part, I, uh, I deflated somewhat. I mean, you were eating... <laughs> yes. Ungodly amounts of yes, food, sir. man. But you know what, it was all the stuff like when I wasn't eating, cause like I would eat on camera and somehow I wouldn't really count those calories because that was work. So then I would eat lunch with the crew and it was just really like stopping, being a little calorie conscious, getting a little more active. Now, you went through some changes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. I think for the better, I think for the better. And I think, you know, also as a single unmarried man, I think that, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, I think women like guys who can see their feet. So I'm gonna keep going <laughs> with that, so. <laughs> <laughs> what are we making today, man? So this is from my, my cookbook, Straight Up Tasty. It's called The Sloppy Zoe, and it was inspired by a sandwich that I found in uh, Argentina called a choripan, which is a kind of a portmanteau of chorizo and, and bread. And uh, so we're gonna get a little bit of uh, virgin olive oil. And what I did was I kind of combined the sloppy joe with chorizo, which is uh, a very, very common sausage found in different Latin cultures. There's Mexican chorizo, there's Argentinian. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown up the chorizo. We took it out of the casing and we're gonna add in some onion. Now normally, because we have some of the amazing staff that you have here, they've already yeah, started just a combining bit of onion. it. Yeah. Maybe this is a, why I'm single. I just eat far too much onion. <laughs> and just the compound matters and make it a little worse for me. Here's a little garlic. <laughs> so then we'll throw in a little bit of salt, a little bit of red pepper. Just kick up the heat just a little bit. And then you would basically work. Your amazing culinary team here actually got me started one step a little bit further. So right. we have some working right here. If I can slide down here. So now we're going to add paprika. Um, again, not normally something you might associate with Argentinian cuisine. They have a different pepper there called carne de cabre and Malbec, yeah. which is uh, Argentinian, like their utmost wine, but it's actually a French grape that was brought by the Jesuits. So I bring some in here, and that's actually what's gonna make the gravy, which to me was always the best who, part. Who is the Jesuits? Uh, <laughs> so... And when did they start bringing food over here? Well, as, as a Jew, I always am very, very careful when I discuss the Jesuits. But, oh, is that what? Well, but I, I, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that I'm whole, that whole Jesuit no, part. They'll take my TV show off there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so now what we've done is we've taken some, uh, some bread. We've toasted it, and I took some roasted garlic. You could just caramelize it down, a little bit of olive oil, oh, and I put some provolone in it. You scoop it out, so now it's obviously gonna let all our ingredients sit in there beautifully. And that's what we're gonna put our sandwich in. Now, before we started the recipe, we actually took some plum tomatoes, some onion, some avocado, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of salt, and I want it to be ice cold, so it's like a nice contrast right. with this meat. So, what we're gonna first do is spoon the meat mixture, right on top of that the cheesy garlic bread that we've made. Yes, that's the right reaction. Now we're talking. Ooh, why would you be doing it, boy? <laughs> Only way to do it right here. <laughs> so now we have all these wonderful flavor bits on the bottom of the pan so you can deglaze it. And the reason that I'm a big fan of Alamos is because it's like a wine that's gonna get like a good rating in, in Wine Spectator, it's under 20 bucks. You don't need to spend a lot of money. But the rule whenever you're cooking with wine, if you're not gonna drink it, don't cook with it. So then we'll do that. We'll add a little bit more onion to make a little bit of gravy. And actually what I'll do is I'll grab a little bit of provolone because you can actually thicken out a gravy with cream or cheese. You don't have to use flour. So we'll make this down. You can reduce this down into a nice, nice thick gravy. We'll pour it right on top. And yeah, that's the finished product right there if you want to tuck in. Mm. Boy, let me tell you something. This is good right here. Y'all got Thank you very, very much. If I may, mm -hmm. pardon me. Have to be careful with that knife over there. I don't want to make you Jewish as well. <laughs> Must be careful with that one. <laughs> Mazel tov! Adam, <laughs> I love you, man. I love you back. This is delicious. Thank you so much. I want to thank Adam. 
His new cookbook, Straight Up Tasty, is available now at your local store. But if you're here in the audience today, we're giving everybody a copy today. <laughs> we'll be 